Hey, my more brothers, back again. Uh, I was looking at Ron Will's video. Talk about that thug thing again. Link will be in the description. And he's absolutely right. This educated lame versus thugs versus Pookie and Ray Ray is way, way, way overblown. Way, way, way overblown. It's kind of like he said, it's getting kind of, it's getting out of hand. Because the same troubles that you, you're having, the upper class is having, Ray Ray and Pookie are exhibiting and having the same kind of problems with their women. Anytime you try to cross lanes, there's rules to that. There's rules to the game. Anytime you're trying to cross games, that thug game ain't no different than the lame game. They ain't no different than the upper class game because it maximize what they do. So you're going to have street dudes that are losers. They can't rub two nickels together. Can't get no woman. You're going to have the same thing that, that are so-called educated lames. Got the same thing with upper class guys. Upper class guys got a, a slight advantage because there's few, one, there's fewer of them. Two, they got resources. And three, they can throw money at a problem. Whereas educated lame, not, not necessarily so. So only the top tier of those guys in each category are getting all the women. So you see a thug with a woman that you would like. You're looking at the top guy, just like if you look at uh, basketball players or rich guys and you see women on their arms or they're jetting people here and there. OK, those are the top tier guys. Those are the top 10 percent or top 5 percent in their category. So there's plenty of educated lames that have great wives, great houses and great families or going through women like water because they've maximized who they are in their category. Women that like, that are educated, that like educated lames or educated dudes are going to maximize what they have. They, they Those are their group of women that they're going to chase. Thugs and Pookie and Ray Ray, they have a group of women that they're going to chase. So there's hierarchies within Pookie and Ray Ray. Every Pookie and Ray Ray ain't getting a whole bunch of women. The Pookies that you see with women on their arm are better looking a little smoother and their their choice and they going to get they going to get some mud ducks just like they're going to have fine women cuz they approach educated lames that approach get tons of women and sometimes they're going to be a cross platform educated lames have access to the top tier women if they got if the game is tight whereas uh, the thugs and uh, pookie and ray ray don't, probably don't and if Pookie and Ray Ray and, and they want to get those those top tier women, they got to come with a different game. They have to adjust their game to those women. It's a lot of women that wouldn't be seen with Pookie and Ray Ray. There's, you know, you hear women all the time that they've never dated thugs because they're not attracted to them. What they want is the educated lames or the classic men to maximize what they have. If you come out in, in a uh, nice clothes, nice suit and you smell right. The educated lame is going to, or the classic man is going to get plenty of women. He's going to get more women than he wants. But, he, but the thing is, you got to put in the work. You don't have to have tats, but you do have to have a nice body. You do have to maximize uh, what you have. You do have to have some confidence because women are attracted to confidence. Because I, me, I'm in the middle. You know, I've had upscale women attracted to me. And I have uh, the, the, the women that Pookie and Ray Ray would love. In fact, I've had plenty of Pookie and Ray Rays after my women pissed off at me, want to fight me because I have the women that they think they should have. Like I'm posting on in on their territory. Same thing with the upscale dudes. If you maximize what you have, maximize who you are and be the best version of yourself, you're going to get more than enough attention. You're going to get more than enough women. I agree with Ron. The stuff it's getting tired. It's getting tired. You got women throwing around coochie like it's a, a fire sale. You know, basically most coochies on a Nordstrom rack. And you guys are talking about what you can't get. You know, you can't go to Amazon and buy coochie, okay, and have it delivered to your door. You got to go out and get it. You have to attract it to you. 
you know, educated lambs think because because you classic men think just because you went to school for what? For eight years, you got a master's degree or a PhD that that's going to attract women. Does a woman's PhD attract uh, you to her? No. If she's ladylike, if she's compliant, if she's cooperative and she looks good, that's what attracts you to her, not her PhD. Same thing with you. If your body ain't right, your look ain't right, your conversation ain't right. You can't flash a diploma and think that they're going to be attracted to you. You can't flash a job resume and think that she's going to be attracted to you. No, she's attracted to the man, not the job or the resume. You put in work, uh, got to get your degree not to get a woman. You get a, you you uh, put in work, you get an education for you, for your career, for the rest of your life. That's personal. That has nothing to do with her. To attract her, you got to have stuff or have attributes to attract that woman. A woman that's an 85 is not going to want what a woman that's that's a 92 is going to want. They want different things. And a woman that's 92, as I, you know, that's not going to put up the Octane series. A woman that's 92 is not going to want a thug or a Pookie and Ray Ray. She gonna, she's going to get him. She's going to toss him. What she wants is a classic man that's on her level. But she don't want a classic man that's not at his peak, not maximizing what he has. And same thing with Pookie and Ray Ray. If just because the chick has an is a ninety two octane, has got a, a PhD, and she's making six figures, doesn't mean Pookie and Ray Ray is gonna holler at her, or the good looking Pookie and Ray Ray is gonna come at her. It's not gonna happen. And the reverse is the same. At the base, you look in the mirror, and that's what people are initially attracted to. You open your mouth, that's what people are attracted to. Your resume and all the other your accomplishments come second. At the end of the day, women want a decent looking guy that's fun. Most of them do. Even the educated one, even the high octanes want fun. Even the high, the high octanes want sexually attractive men or sexually or sexy men that are masculine and vibe with that. Just like Pookie and Ray Ray can get down and learn how to fight. Sign, there's plenty of fight clubs there's plenty of martial arts and we you know in classic man got enough money to get in uh, a gym get in a martial arts class learn how to fight learn how to scrap you get a black belt you can walk in and you can score you can scrap with pookie and ray ray stop making excuses just like rom said stop making excuses women women are throwing coochie around Throwing coochie around. If you want to compete for the top 10% of women, which are the eights, nines, and tens, then you have to have a top 10% game. And most guys don't of all levels because there's plenty of rich dudes that throw around money. that are complaining about the exact same thing that you are. It's playing Pookie and Ray Ray. At least one thing about I can say about, about the thugs and Pookie and Ray Ray. They stay in their lane. They see a top 10 chick. There's high class as a 92 octane. Nine times out of 10, they won't even approach her because they can't conversate with her. They can't talk her language. But since you're educated, you think that you can come down to the hood and talk their language with those chicks that can't even understand half the words coming out of your mouth because your game's not adjusted to them. Stop the war. Stop being mad. Stop with the stud thing. Like, like Rob says, it's just an excuse. It's an excuse to not be the best that you can be. That's all it is. Kevin Samuel said the exact same thing. Talking about thugs, talking about Pookie and Ray Ray is just an excuse so that you cannot be the best that you can be. You know, if you're an uh, educated dude without no swag, how come you ain't got no swag? It ain't that hard. Swag doesn't mean you have to be low class. Swag doesn't mean that you have to talk, cuss, and have tattoos on your arms. Swag means you 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 have nice clothes, you dress neat, you have a nice haircut, uh, you have a, a nice clothes, a nice pair of shoes. Because trust and believe, chicks that like Pookie and Ray Ray and like thugs, if you have a nice pair of shoes and you dress to kill and you sharp, trust and believe they're going to vibe with you. So fat booty Brenda likes dudes that have nice clothes and nice shoes and smell good. And nine times out of 10, she's afraid to talk to you because you're out of her class. So if you approach her and your game is on point, she's going to fall. All classes of women will fall. 
Just like a thug knows if he's if his game is on point, he's dressed right. He smells right. And he, he can talk to King's English. He can be the biggest thug in the world. The high class women will fall for him, too. The game is not that hard. You guys make it way too hard way too hard to understand you make it way too hard because you think you want you think women are participation trophies and they're not women are not participation trophies just like you are not participation trophies flip the game flip the game what kind of women do you want you figure out what kind of women you want then you look in the mirror are, are you the equivalent or can you be the equivalent fair exchange ain't no robbery fair exchange ain't no robbery give her a fair exchange and she should give it back to you. It's not that hard, folks. Anyway, just a short uh, rant. Since I'm, uh, I heard Rom, and I, I completely co-sign with what he's talking about because he he's spitting true game. He's spitting the truth, not even game. This is the truth. It's just basic one-on-one -on -one re uh, recipro reciprocity. That's all it is. And a lot of these, a lot of y'all, you guys don't want to give up reciprocity. Same thing with the women. They don't want to reciprocate. You want a Mercedes and for a uh, toy of the prices. Don't work that way. It is what it is. That's the way the universe works. It's called reciprocity, reciprocation and balance. Anyway, I'm going to jump off here. That's all I got. This is BGS out. And uh, I will see you guys on the next one.